Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm gonna be kind of changing things up. As you can see, this video already looks a little bit different from what you've been seeing uh, in my past videos. I'm not gonna stop doing anything that you've seen in the past, so don't worry, none of that's going away. But I think I'm just gonna widen my field of view a little bit in terms of what I'm gonna be doing on this channel. Uh, and that's because I do a lot of things. I still love doing uh, wood projects and making projects. I still love doing that for fun. But I want to be able to do all sorts of things on this channel. If I want to make a photography video, if I want to make a filmmaking video, if I want to do a, even gaming, I want to be able to do that. So this video is going to look a little different. I'm not going to be making anything out of wood. I'm not going to be using any of these tools. Well, I shouldn't, I guess. But let me give you a little bit of a background of what we're doing today. So five years ago in October, I took a photo of this watch. And it's really funny looking back at those photos because the way I would approach the same photo is so different from how I would have done it five years ago. Even just last year, I probably would have not approached it the same way. As a creative, you're always changing your process, how you do things, gear, all that stuff. So I just wanted to revisit this photo and see exactly how I would do things differently. I'm just gonna be taking stuff from around my house. I'm not getting anything special. Now, of course, I already have gear, so I'm at an advantage in, in that case. But we're gonna be going through how I would take this photo of this watch in 2020 versus me in 2015. So I'm just gonna go around the house and get some props that I think would fit well in this photo and give a little bit of context. So let's go grab some things. I got this walnut lid that goes over one of my example wedding albums and I thought it would look cool. Of course I got the watch, a wallet, a wristband, and a flashlight. I'm gonna go grab some more things. I'll be back. All right, I've grabbed some more things. I've got some boots, dirty old ones, some headphones, an XLR cable, and this military bag, or military style looking bag. So the props you use in your product photo play a big part in giving context to the photo. I'm picking things that are of similar color tone and would make sense together. Not only do they make sense and match in color tone, but they give depth to your photo. It gives it a little bit of a backstory rather than just placing a random watch on the floor. Anyone could do that. It hints that it's an actual person's personal belonging because you see their other belongings and something that they might use in their everyday life. I'm just gonna start placing things down and kind of feeling out what things gravitate towards each other. A big part of what makes this look good is the spacing. So how far things are apart from each other and is it equal to the distance from another thing. So I don't know if I'll be using everything, but it's better to have more things than not enough things. One cool trick I learned from Peter McKinnon is that you want to raise the dimensional plane of where your subject's going to be to help separate it from the rest of the objects in the thing. You don't want it to get lost. I mean, the point of this is that we take a photo of the watch, not everything else. The trick with these loosely hanging things like this XLR cable is making sure it doesn't look premeditated. So this is the arrangement I ended up going with. I ended up moving things around and I took out the mic and XLR cable just cause I thought it was a little too cluttered and it was taken away from the subject, which is the watch. I also took out the wristband just to make things a little more simpler and really have a compliment to the watch, not have it, um, you know, upstage it. In terms of lighting, I was using this soft box here, but I was getting too much shadows on this side of the shoe and on the top part of this shoe. It was just starting to become black blobs. So I added this light. This is just the background light I had earlier and I put some tissues on it to diffuse it a little bit. And I thought it worked out perfectly. It highlights this part of the shoe right here and right here so that it doesn't become lost. It also highlights this side of the watch. It gives it a little bit more dimension. 
So I edited the photo guys and here it is. And to me this just seems like a lot more relatable photo. Like there's things in it I can see myself using. Well, literally that was stuff that I use. But in that first photo that I took in 2015, it just looks like something, I don't know. It's, it doesn't even look like anything I've seen in real life. Like where the heck would I see those blue rocks? I think I found those in a vase somewhere around the house. I don't know why I thought it might look good. I think what I was thinking was the dial on the watch is blue. So I was thinking blue rocks, I don't know. It made sense back then, but now I just think it looks a little silly. But this photo just looks so much better to me. And it's all subjective. I mean, you may like the first photo a little bit better, and you may hate this photo that I just took. You may not even like either of them, but whatever it is, in my opinion, I think it just looks a lot better. The funny thing is, I remember when I was taking that first photo, I spent like four, five, six hours editing that photo. It was just layers on layers on layers in Photoshop. And this photo, I didn't even take it into Photoshop. I just did everything in Lightroom and I finished editing it in about like 15, 20, for 25 minutes. And maybe that was because of my lack of experience back then, taking four or five, six hours editing that photo. But it just goes to show you like, the amount of time I spent getting the first photo versus the amount of time I spent getting the second photo was a fraction, a fraction of a fraction. And I actually really liked the outcome of the second photo a lot better, even though there was so much less time put into that one. But let me know what you guys think. If you like the second photo better or if you like the first one better and what you like or dislike about it. Maybe you didn't like either. And that's okay too. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, so. Wow. Anyways, peace out. Catch you guys later.